Welcome back, people. We've got some more Bass Master Fishing 2022 for you guys here again today. So, I did a little tutorial on this. Um, just just kind of getting started. So, now after playing it for a little short minute, I've sort of got the hang of it now. My biggest fish is nearly four pounds, which is not bad considering as, um, I've only just started the game. So, anyway, we, we press L2. That gets us into casting mode, holding R2 and then letting go. That's what casts the rod. We've figured out how to use the trolling motor and obviously the reel speed. So to reel in, it's a little bit weird, but to reel in, you press L2 and you can press R1 or L1 to adjust of how fast you're reeling in. So down there on the bottom left, it says one. And then obviously next to one, it says L1 and R1. So I'm reel speed at reel speed one. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face camera mic, but when I make videos, I just randomly hit record and that's how we always get those awesome videos. I do lots of different fishing games on the channel and um, lots of new games, old games and pre-ordered games. So if you're interested in gaming, this is definitely the place for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, we also do have memberships. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to drop a like. If you've got any comments, do definitely leave your comments below and I will try and get back to you as quick as I can. In all honesty, I've played a lot of fishing games and um, this one, by far, it is. I do really like it because you can you can change it so you can actually see under the water, so you can see the fish strike your your lure, which I quite like that. So to do that, you can press click L3 in, and you can either reel like this so you can see the rod and you can see your player, or you can click it the other way, click L3 again, and it takes it underwater, which I quite like that, but. The only one thing, oh yeah, the up and down button on your D-pad is your um, your tension on your line. How how strong you want the tension at the minute? Oh, at the minute, mine is on 30. So it's what I will do in in just a sec. I pressed the wrong button. Let's cast over this way a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Well, then we click down on the analog stick so we can see underwater. I'm going to press down on my D-pad. and I don't know if you can see them numbers there on the bottom left. But it's on 30. Oh, there you go. We've got a fish on. Now it's on 28. So if I press up on the D-pad, as you can see, it's going up to 30, 32, 34, 36. But it says the hook is slipping. So you do have to, of course, you do have to be careful of um, not losing your fish. Oh, wow. Well. I don't know if I'm going to get this one, to be honest. Let me take up the tension a little bit more. There we go. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Wow. I wasn't sure if I was going to get that one. <laughs> that was a little bit cranky. White bass. Okay. I haven't had a white bass before, I don't think. So, yeah, the game mechanics, the... Well, actually, let's first talk about the picture quality of it. The picture quality is pretty decent, and obviously the rain effect, you can't really see the rain, but when you when it's raining, I put it on rain, you can see on the water um, little little rain drops on the on yeah on top of the surface, which that does look pretty good. It's a shame I can't actually see the rain, but yeah, we can obviously see it hitting the water. The picture quality of being in the boat right, driving around. Now, of course, we are playing on PS4. Of course, if you was playing it on PS5, the picture quality probably is... Well, not probably. The picture quality obviously would be a little bit better. But, um, yeah, overall, a pretty decent game. The only one thing that I'm not a big fan on right now is the striking. So when you got a fish on, you use the right analog stick. And as you can see... That's left and right, and that's up and down striking. Yeah, I'm, I wish they did a better job with that, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, I do wish they did a little bit of a better job with that. But other than that, um, not too bad. Let me press down on the D-pad, because we're at, I like to keep it near 20. And then that way, if we get a fish on, I can then adjust it higher if I need to put more tension. If it does say the hook is obviously going to snap or the line, the bars on the left there go up too far and then you can adjust it obviously to increase it more you would obviously press up and then you'd press down on your d-pad to decrease the tension so that way you're not putting so much strain on it which obviously can make you lose your fish which i have have done a couple of times so yeah i've definitely i definitely do now 
had the hang of the of the adjusting it. I do panic a little bit if I'm honest, but I got a fish on. <laughs> but I got a fish on. I do panic a little bit. I go into panic mode and um, yeah. I some sometimes I get it, sometimes I can't. But I do make videos, and some people do always tell me to. I should use a cam all the time, but as I've mentioned before, this that's how I get those good video clips by just hitting that record button randomly. Okay, let's see if I can. Um, get any more interest here now of course you, you don't catch a fish on every single car sometimes you can do it where you get four five six in a row but then sometimes you can obviously do it and yeah don't expect to catch a fish every single time and also by pressing the left d-pad button that's where we can change our rods which we've done that before so I'm gonna just change it over to this one just that way we're using a little something different it's cast over this way now. Let's have a look see if there's anything over this way. This month we've been very, very busy on YouTube, me and Big Man. Big Man doesn't have YouTube himself, but he helps out a lot with mine. Um, and he's a family member of ours. We put so many new games on the channel. It's absolutely unbelievable. Last month, oh wow, that looked pretty cool. Yeah, last month and this month we've been putting new games out as well. So, um, yeah, we've definitely never, ever been this busy on YouTube ever. But it's been good fun, though. I've, we've had awesome, yeah, we've, we've had an awesome time playing lots of new games. What's up? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so just to mention, I am um, I am chatting to Big Man on PS4 right now. So I haven't just lost my marbles just yet. That's who I'm talking to. That's a few fish there. All right, let me change the lure. Um, if I can remember, which I don't think I can. Um, okay, triangle. There you go, that's the one. Um, delete loadout. It says delete. Crawfish. Offshore loadout. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So there's offshore loadout. So if you press L1 and R1, you can change from different ones. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's handy. Let me go back to this one for a minute, because this lure was working, but I just couldn't find the fish. I caught all the fish that was there. So let me change over to this one, and then we might get some interest again. So you can let it sink, and if, as you can see down there on the bottom left, it's three foot now, four foot now, five foot. That's it sinking. For it to sink, you just don't do anything. You just leave it. But of course, you it, you don't have to let it sink if you don't want to. You can just do it on top of the surface. But I like to let it sink a little bit. And then just keep my finger on L2 to keep it reeling in. Now, you don't have to do that. Again, there is different ways. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped reeling. It was coming for it. Yeah, so that's one thing that I've noticed as well. If you try and stop reeling to get let the fish try and catch up to snatch your lure, it does that. So, um, yeah, really you don't want to stop reeling. I did stop reeling because I thought I was too close to the boat and it would end up striking too late. But of course you don't have to keep your finger on L2. You don't have to keep on reeling co constant. You can... Uh, reel, reel for a little bit and then stop and then reel for a little bit and stop of course you can do it that way but um, I think I've had more success just by keeping my finger on L2 to be honest and real speed 1 seems to seems to be the one that works quite well I've tried real speed 2 and I do catch but not as much and again the higher the real speed of course the quicker you're reeling so the lures in the water for a shorter period of time so yeah real speed one is probably the way to go on this 
Of course, I am still <laughs> very noob on this game, and um, as I said, I do like it. It's just the it's just the striking motion, using the right analog stick. Yeah, the striking is very cranky. It kind of reminds me of um, what was that other fishing game that you played, Biggs? The catch. That was it. It reminds me. It reminds me of the catch a little bit. Um, this game, when you strike. We've made videos on that before on the catch, and that, again, that was a good fishing game, but the yeah the striking motion is a little bit it's a little bit strange how you use the analog stick. Well, the yeah it's just I can't explain it compared to other fishing games that I've played. It's a little strange. So if you overcast it, you can press circle and it resets your cast back, so that way you don't have to reel it back in. Right, there we go. I'm going to let this one sink a little bit more this time. So here where I am, it says uh, it's 31 foot deep where the boat is, but where I've casted to, it shows 12 foot down there. And now we're at 10 foot. There we go. Let it sink. And then hold my finger on too. Sometimes, even when I've been letting it sink, sometimes a fish will come up and, and snatch it whilst whilst it is actually sinking so do be prepared for the unexpected because it can happen alright no luck that time let's try again overpowered so if I press circle it resets it whenever you get it overpowered you might as well always press circle every time it's overpowered just hit circle because Otherwise, you get a very, very short cast, and yeah, you're not you're not going to catch anything if you get it to overpowered because the line where you cast it to it doesn't it just literally plops down in front of you, so pretty much pointless. So normally when I do make videos, I shouldn't have stopped. I don't know why I did again. Normally when I do make videos, I do normally make them for around about the eight to ten minute mark, just because I don't want them to go on too long. But um, yeah, for the tutorial of this, of course I did show it a little bit longer than that. I think it was about 20 something odd minutes. And of course, yeah, this one has obviously gone on a little bit longer. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this game. Um, let me know, yeah. I'm interested in what you guys think of it, whether you brought it yourself, you're thinking about buying it, whether you think it looks good, whether you don't even own it and you just you just want to give your opinion on how it looks let me know in the comments section and I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I can of course I can't always reply to everyone just because I spend many hours replying to people and having a thousand videos on YouTube and trying to respond to each video can be quite difficult but I do try my best anyway that's gonna be pretty much it for this one we we'll wait until we reel this in I don't think we're gonna have any more interest around here I should have really changed the time of day, but never mind. Yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this one. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.